Hey folks, Bridges here. Um, I'm hoping to keep this video short, but the point of the video is to explain how to put your um, components together into an assembly. So this is going to end up being a pretty important video. So what I have on my fusion screen is, um, looks like this is the middle part of the toy assembly. And then in a separate file, I've got the, the end part. Now, if you designed yours where both parts are in the same file, that's fine. They're all, if, if you did two separate bodies that are in the same work area, you're fine. But if you didn't, this is where I want to start to make sure that we all are in the same place. So right now, uh, I've got each one of these files saved. I've got the hammer peg toy middle and the hammer peg toy end both saved. So to put them together, I'm going to start a new, a new design here by clicking on the little plus sign, or I could go to File, New Design. Either way, it brings me into a new tab here. All right, so before I can do anything, I want to save this, this blank design, and I want to call it Hammer Peg Toy Assembly. I'm going to call it good, because I've tried this before and it wasn't good. All right, and now that your file is established and saved, uh, what we want to do is import these, these um, two models into this assembly, all right? And to do that, the first thing that we need to do is open each, up, each one of them up and make sure they are saved as a component. Right now, okay, in both of these, I just, just got done modeling them, and it looks like um, there is no component. What this is is a body, and if you remember, bodies, I can't move them around. They're locked into space. What I want to do is come over here on the file tree. I want to open the bodies folder with the side arrow. And I can see that body one is this whole block right here. I want to right click on body one and I want to convert that to a, from a body to a component. So now it's a component and it's free to be moved around. Okay. And it's not moving for some reason. That's okay. No worries. I'm going to come over here to my other part. Oh, I forgot. To, I should save this one after I convert it. Good. Come over here to my end part, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open the bodies folder, and I'm going to save body one. Right click and create components from bodies and save that. Okay. Now I can move it around, and I can move this other one around as well. There it goes. Okay. So now that those are both saved as components, we can come to our new assembly in the new tab and I can go over here and I want to what I want to do is open up the data panel. The data panel is like some people call it a waffle menu. It's over right next to file. So this is important to open up the data panel. What the data panel is is a listing of all of your parts that you've made. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the file management system here. So you want to make sure that you're, you go to your home and you want to go into the particular um, project that you've been saving your things to. For me, it's called A Bridges. For you, it might be called Admin Project or something like that. So go ahead and go in there if you didn't see your file. And then scroll down to find the two components that you would like to import. And the two components that I'm looking to import are called Hammer, Peg, Toy, and Good. So I'll just drag that over into my workspace. And then I'll drag a second instance of that same one over here into the workspace. Great. Now you can see that it placed them both on top of each other. It looks like I only have one, but when I place it in there, I can actually use the little hand, uh, the little move arrows to move one, and you can see that I had placed two on top of one, one another. So I'm just going to move them sort of out of the way here and say, OK, great. And you can move them around to wherever you want them to be. And we'll repeat the same thing with the hammer peg toy middle. I'm looking for the one that says middle good, and there it is. I'll just drag it over into my workspace. And you can see it intersects, so I can use my, my move tools Okay, and I can even rotate it around because it's not going to be connected in this orientation. So I can use my rotate arrow right here to rotate on the X axis. This is one of those degrees of freedom that we talked about. 
I'm going to bring it up to 90 degrees. So now they're all oriented the way that they will be assembled together. Okay. Matter of fact, what I should have done was uh, rotate one of these components 180 degrees when I brought it in, but that's okay. No big deal. We can do that later. So we've got two of our, sorry, three of our components now for the assembly. Now we can close out of our data panel. And the last um, things that we want to bring in are fasteners. And we're going to bring them in from an online store similar to Home Depot or Lowe's. So to do that, we're going to go up here to insert on the menu. And we're going to come down to insert McMaster Car Component. McMaster Car is a company that um, I'm not sure if they make these fasteners or if they just carry them. But um, either way, we're going to insert a McMaster car component. When you click that, it may take a minute, but it'll bring up this menu of all these different um, fasteners and more. Okay. What we're going to search for here is I'm giving, let me give you some, um, some file, some, uh, some, some part numbers here. All right. The part numbers that we're looking for are... Type, just type these numbers in your find box here. And the numbers are 971-95-A101. And you'll know that you've got that correct if, you, if it comes up and says, wood dowel pins, one quarter inch diameter, one inch long. That's great. Um, I had to browse a little bit to find them. And you can browse and find them just as well. But I just figured I'd give you the shortcut to get there. What you want to do now is we want to download a model. Okay. Right here where it says CAD 3D SolidWorks. It, let's, we're not using SolidWorks. So we're, let's change that file type. And we'll scroll down and get the one right above SolidWorks called um, 3D SAT. Not quite sure what that stands for, but I know that it works for us. So I'll go ahead and download the 3D SAT file of that. And look at that. It gives us one of those. Now, I wonder if we would have typed in the quantity of four, if it would have given us four. Never were. Don't worry about that. We're going to just import them a couple more times. I'll import another McMaster car component. All right. Um, I might want to copy and paste this this time. It's going to be 971-95-A-101. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that just in case we need to type it in two, three more times. All right. And when I hit enter... There's the dowel pen. Um, oh, it's how many packs of 100 do we want? So we don't want to enter a quantity here. <laughs> but we do want to go ahead and do the 3D sat. Okay, download. And we're going to move, the, move these out of the way as well. Insert master car. I can just paste this time. There's probably a better way to, um, matter of fact, I'm going to show you something else now. Instead of repeating that process of inserting every time, what I can show you how to do now is just to make a copy of a component. So, matter of fact, I'll just delete the second, oops, I'll just delete this one um, pen out of here and I'll show you how to make a copy of it. So to make a copy of a component, which is what this is, okay, uh, what we can do is... Up here on the menu, there's this move copy. Okay, it's a four-way arrow. Let's select that move copy. And it says, what are you going to move? All right, well, it's not a body. It's a component. So we want to come down here and move object. We're going to make it a component. Okay, and when we go to components, right, we're going to come over here and we're going to select either the, the component from our workspace or up here on our browser. Either one is okay. And when you select that, it gives us some extra options now, and it lets us create a copy of that. So I will click that Create Copy button, and then I'm going to go ahead and move the second version of it just next to it. Okay? And I'll say OK. And I'll keep doing that. Move Copy, this thing, create a copy, and let's move, let's keep moving them. Okay? Right there. And then I'll do it one more time. I'll move copy this one, I'll make a copy, and then I'll move it out of the way again. Okay, 
So now I've got my four dowel pins. That's great. The only other two things that I need are the screws that go in here with the countersink hole. So using the same method, we'll go to insert, pick master car component, and your part number this time is 91253A548. And when I type that in there, it gives us some, some different things here. It looks like that's the one, the black oxide alloy steel. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be nice. So I'll just go ahead and download the 3D sat of that as well. And then I'll do the same thing um, by clicking the, oh, I gotta click okay to place that component. And then I'll do the same thing with the move copy, select your component, go to create copy, and then move the copy so we can see there's two of them and click okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all of the all of the components that we need to assemble this children's toy. As I said before, we're going to have to turn one of these um, end pieces around, so this is a great time to do that. We're going to use the move copy yet again. So using the move copy, let's click on one of your parts. The whole idea is so, is so that these countersink uh, are facing opposite ways. They shouldn't be on the same side. So I'll, I'll select my component, and this time I'll use the rotate option. Okay, we're gonna, this time we're gonna rotate about the Y axis. Remember the Y axis goes up and down, so we're rotating around that. So we're gonna choose this rotation out here, and we'll rotate it 180 degrees, just like that. And I'll press enter to finalize that, or okay. So now we're looking good. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and I'm going to do a part two on how to actually put these things together using some joints. Thanks for watching.